In this example, I'm going to show you how to use my Sonus control module, which allows um, you to control the basic functions of a Sonus zone player from within um, a Crestron program. So the first thing to do is to download the software from my website. So you can go to sprules.com and if you scroll down there's a link here which has a copy of the module. You need to save that somewhere on your hard disk. Um, in this example I'm going to save it into um, temp. Um, and I'm going to replace it because we have a copy there. Um, and then if I open up temp uh, you will see inside of that inside of the, the file that was downloaded um, if we explore in here there are two folders user macro and user s plus you need to put the files from these directories in your um, Crestron uh, home folder so you would go to C in my case I've got the software installed under Crestron and then you would go into the simple plus folder and you're going to copy those two folders in here and they will add to your contents of user macro and user s plus and basically what it will add is two things if we look in here there is um, in the user s plus there is the password protected core program which deals with the the UPnP connection to the Sonus and then inside of user macro is the this the symbol that you'll use inside of your program so this is a macro that wraps up that functionality that's in the core and makes it easier to use in your program Okay, so assuming you've done that correctly, we can then open up Simple Windows, um, and here I have a standard um, Simple Windows pro uh, window, and I'm going to create a new program. And in this case, I'm going to call it Test, uh, or let's call it um, Sonus Test One. Okay, um, so we need to add some basic things to our program. So um, the process processor I'm using is a Pro Two. So I'm going to add the Pro 2 on here, um, and then obviously it connects via Ethernet, so we're going to need to add a, uh, an Ethernet adapter. So um, if I go into plug-in control cards and look in the um, Zbus um, cards, I'm going to add an Ethernet 1, which is what I have in my uh, device. And for now, that's all we're going to do. We're going to use a debugger to actually control the device. So um, what I'm going to do then is flip across the program system, and assuming that you installed the the uh, module in the right spot, if you look under transport decks you will see a Sonus Control 2.x that's the only device you need to use, if you expand all of these you'll see that there is a Sonus Core and a Sonus Control 2.x, you don't need to use the core, the core is included in the um, Sonus Control module so I'm gonna basically close that up a bit and I'm gonna go into transport decks and I'm gonna take the Sonus Control 2.x and I'm gonna drag that into my logic symbols now when I open it up you'll see the basic functions that, I, that the module supports. Um, in this example we're just going to do something very simple um, which is basically we're going to show you um, how to start and stop um, a zone player and how to increase the volume. So the first thing we need to do is understand the IP address of our zone players. So if you open up the desktop controller software for Sonus and go into the help on um, uh, about Sonus desktop it will show you the IP addresses of your, of your um, uh, zone players and in this case we're going to use the one in my office which I, which IP address ends in 210 so I'm going to go back to my Crestron program um, and I'm going to put the IP address where it says IP address 192.168.201.210 um, I'm going to put the debugging onto true initially so we can um, just make sure everything is working correctly and for the for the for true and for the um, license um, I'm going to um, I'm going to put in the word demo. Um, this is, allows you to use a demonstration license, which will basically work for ten functions, and then we'll time out. Um, you can buy a license from my website for fifty bucks. Okay. So initially, all I'm going to do is make this whole symbol complete, and then I'm just going to have some really basic commands here. So we'll call this zone play. Uh, uh, zone, actually, let's call that zone uh, pause. Um, Sone play, um, and let's just do sone v up uh, and sone v down. Let's just change that to actually say up. Typo that. Okay, so at its 
simplest that that's all you need to do. We'll compile, we'll save the program and compile it. Um, we're going to save this in our um, program, in our default program directory. Um, and we're going to call it, um, let's call it, uh, what do we say? So, uh, Okay, so while that's compiling, it's going to tell us, um, it's going to give us a bunch of uh, warnings, um, mainly because we don't have any signals driving these signals that we created, and we're going to we can use the debugger to control those. So now it asks me to transfer the file. I'm going to transfer it over to my Pro 2, which happens to be this device here. It's going to ask me to send that across. And that should have sent the, it across to the to the Pro 2. So now I'm going to open up the debugger. Um, and I'm going to close this version of Toolbox, which has uh, had a lot of stuff. Oh, there we go. Wonderful tools from Crestron. Um, let's just open up the Toolbox again. We'll open up a new instance of it. Um, let's just make sure you guys can see this. Um, okay. So now we've got it in here. I'm going to fire up the debugger um, and I'm going to connect the debugger directly to via IP to my Pro 2 and it's found it and it's going to double it's going to synchronize the signals now what I'm going to do just for a test is I'm going to restart the processor and you should see the debug information come up as it restarts um, and there you see that what it's um, basically said is that it's going to be using a demo license um, and that there are 10 play operations remaining between now and um, and, and when the, the software will time out. It tells you the version of the call and the IP address of the device and you can see that it's already communicating with, with the, the uh, Sonos player that I put in there because it's, it's as it started up it connected and retrieved the volume of the Sonos player. So now what we should be able to do is if I go into um, look at the signals for this, the zone player, if I um, push volume down, um, you will see that the um, let's have a look here. Let's open up the volume um, and select my office. You'll see that as we push volume down, push it a few times, the volume is decreasing. Let's just push it a bunch of times so you can see that you see the volume is decreasing. Now let's say we want to play it. You'll hear, if I want to turn up the volume, I'll turn the volume down, turn it up. I'll pause it. So that is the basics of using the Sonus control player module.